it is just horrible, horrible. I just can't understand it. Rose Palmer lives in Anthony Homes, a Macon Housing Authority development off Eisenhower Parkway. She's a single mom working as a dietitian at a local hospital, simultaneously caring for her disabled father, a U.S. Navy veteran now with dementia. You have to stay strong because someone has to do it. But there are quite a few others living under this roof. I'll get to these guys shortly. With the rent prices, it's ridiculous because I'm paying over $1,000 now to stay here. It's not the first time we've visited Anthony Homes. In September, I spoke with two tenants facing eviction after receiving separate letters from a property manager. One person was told she owed nearly $11,000 in back rent. The other, nearly $20,000. After our initial story aired, I did get a call back from Michael Colbert, Housing Services Director with the MHA. He didn't want to go on camera, but he did say some of those letters with handwritten dollar amounts requested for back rent shouldn't have been mailed out. Palmer has been asked for back rent as well. It's just baffling because you know something is wrong. I'm paying $1,070 for rent each month and I'm not understanding why it's so much. She says when she asks questions, they say they have to go and talk to their higher guess, financing or however they do it. But I don't understand how they can come up with this number when they still need to talk with them. As for Palmer's unwelcomed guests. I am totally spotless. Like, I'm not playing. Even my microwave, clean. <laughs> She says she's contacted MHA. She says pest control has been out twice in the five months she's lived here. Yeah. She believes the living conditions of the mold in her previous MHA unit right. and this one they moved her to with a roach infestation are the cause of her kids' health problems. She says all of these things are taking a toll on her family. And I do understand people seem to say, oh, we stay in the projects and we're human. Regardless of how or where we live, we're all human. Everyone needs help.